lads, I. You're an old head on a young I just shoulders, love like. talking. <laughs> no! Lads, are really? really? <laughs> hey, can I come on this pod like a regular? Lads, do it, yeah, I'm I'm do it, I'm gonna do it with the views. <laughs> <laughs> Since the last one, we're going to waste no time because I was an hour late this today. In the studio this week, bang! Still lying. How are we doing? Hi, guys. I'm feeling good, you know. So here for an hour. Already done a warm up podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's that good. Because of? Is it because of fucking Daniel's son over there? Wax on, wax off for his fringe, lad. Sorry that I was chasing my dreams and I got to bed late. <laughs> chasing <laughs> <laughs> I was in middles for last night. This Danny's got the worst alarm in the world, isn't he? Yeah. It's hard there. Me train, lad. Me train, or. Your alarm didn't right. go off, lad. No way. Oh, Put your tunnel yeah. shut. Yeah. yeah. Can, oh, we, can we test me, the theory now? My thumb didn't press yeah. turn no, on. No, let's test the theory now. What Put theory? an alarm on for a, for a minute time. But before, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, like, on the do not disturb and then on the sleep That's one. why, the do not disturb. Well, you put it on the wall, you have to stay, it still goes well, off, but then well, on the sleep well, on it doesn't. Well, 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 why would you do that? Well, clearly, Bobby, I never meant it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in, I was in Middlesbrough last night and I got back dead late. Um, and it, it was an eventful evening, uh, to be honest. So, somebody got the tits out Roy on stage. Roy Toby Brown had an Ellie's out. Yeah, there's some woman got a tits out on stage and then was openly racist to Callum Oakley. Nice. Um, really? No, yeah, no, no, no Tony, it's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not it. You can say what you want. <laughs> No, it was weird because <laughs> so um, Dan Wilde was doing a bit where he was like, um, "Sorry, Ryan, we, we will we will ask you a question." Nah, in a moment. Sweet, I don't <laughs> um, <laughs> just listen, lad. Like, just, just 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 bear with us. Um, <laughs> and, and he was like, "Oh, so like he's like, what? So what? Uh, what's your for the bookmaker?" And they were like, "Bookies." And then he was like, the, and "He's like, what's your for somebody from Pakistan?" And then the whole room, do you know, usually they go, uh -huh. the whole room was like, ah, like shouted it. But then Callum Oakley was on next. <laughs> Who's, who's half Indian, Indian. heritage, yeah. I don't so know, this like... opener, I, I wasn't even going to so say... So nothing to do with Pakistan at I wasn't all, gonna, I, No, but I wasn't going to say her full name, but she's racist, so her name's Sarah Aid. Um, <laughs> so she, like... That's not racist. Because of what she says afterwards. Okay. So Let she him comes, land, he's going to land. Yeah, okay, okay, land, okay, yeah, land. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So sorry, she, comes back in the no. green, she comes back in the green room and then goes to Callum Oakley. Oh, I didn't know you were one of them Indians. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. One of them Indians. <laughs> one of Can them Callum Indians. take it? Like, and Callum, did he get offended? I mean, he wasn't offended, but, like, it's a difference between, like, like if me or, like, or, like, one of the lads who we were with, it'd be... Because like, what I've noticed with comedians is you, there's no line. Not really. To each other. But the yeah. thing is, though, is he had never met this woman before, either. Yeah, I so think, yeah. So it was yeah. a bit, like... And by the looks of the video on the Instagram, she's not a comedian. All right, I'm going to no. be the devil's advocate. What? I keep touching you, like... That's right, I get it out Okay, on. basically... <laughs> I <laughs> don't do that. Put the barriers down now. No, you got to set boundaries, man. Like, 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 hashtag me too, oh, lad. Like, like, yeah. like, 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 yeah. like, I like, I keep on the same. Why do people call me a fat pedo on the couch? That's a good thing. Because I'm touching people. So you go to a new crowd and perform a joke. If that joke can be anything. Yeah. So. It's just the, the crowd doing it back to you. It is, but there's fucking there's levels to it, isn't there? Like, it's, you just got to be careful. I, think the difference I don't was... agree with what she did, but I'm being a devil. Oh, no, I understand. I think, I think the difference was, though, is like he had never met this woman before. Yeah. And yeah. None of us had ever met her. And within the first five minutes of seeing her, we'd all seen her tits. And then she come in the, in the, in the green room, it did better. But, um, so, she, and she, like, she's come in and being like, oh, I want to get it, want to get pissed. She didn't speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine it to speak like that. Yeah, no, give, her, give her a voice, come on. <laughs> I want to get a picture with all lads. <laughs> and then she was like, but there was no, 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 there was four of us. You know you want bloody Indians. There was four of us. And she went, split off into two teams of two and take it in turn, spit roast at me. And we were all like, no. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Uh, there was like, slap the brakes on there. Is that what the comedy scene's like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he show you what you look like? Yeah. Uh, he's already seen it, it's fan. Nice, nice. It happens just for yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't seen it. He never. <laughs> Um, what do you want to go back? What do you use your talk team about? Team you. Go on, let's 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 talk about team you because I'm rich team now. You. How much did you make on it? Fifty quid. <laughs> so you got one person to sign I've been up. hacked. I've, I've, I'm ga I'm gonna get identity frauded for fifty quid. <laughs> well, have you seen? Have you seen some of the terms and conditions of of team you? Like apparently, like if you, you read the TNTs. No, but I see somebody screenshotted like three like quite weird like sections of it and put it on Twitter and if you sign up for Team you and get that free 50 quid they've then got like full usage rights name, to your image your name yeah. your information and shit like that and but now like, there's lawsuits against them 
Oh, is the yeah? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I got an ask for your 50 quid. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I love that 50 He's quid. He's going to be on the stand. Yeah. 50 quid. He's going to be on the stand. Britain talking about it. My <laughs> point on Timmy was as a creator with a community I've built up from scratch, why would I want to try and like milk them for dough? Uh, I, but it's not necessarily the people who are clicking the link who are giving you though. It's Timmy itself. So you're, you, you're yeah, but like you just said, you're selling your identity. <laughs> but lad, my, my but lad, my life's not that interesting. Where people be, can, can be using my stuff for shit. You know what I mean? Like, you no know, when people used to go, oh, I'm not getting fucking one of them because they can see what you're doing. Like, yeah, you know, shit like if, that. It's like lad, if, I only walk to the fridge in the fucking bathroom. Like that's about it. What man, if, you know what, what I mean? What if they've then got full full usage right to the your image? Aye, and then, and then a few, a few, what a few weeks. The file? But exactly, a few weeks of it, the old lands on Twitter. But how would he get Bobby me picture? Bobby Tip Not, well, I don't know. How'd he get in your phone camera? How'd he get in your picture, lads? Aren't you on to like... You've got Instagram, bro? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah just yeah, just so you know this, right? We're on cameras on the no, internet. No, I'm not there. But I mean, I can touch you, but you yeah, can't that's touch right. me. So you, do you, you reckon someone difference. in team who's going to yeah. go, there's that dickhead from the podcast there. Eh? Yeah. Ah, got him. People do it in all's, time. All's and all's 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 <laughs> no, what you've got to realise is someone in another country now has got your ID getting into nightclubs and that. <laughs> <laughs> so, little Albino John Wong there. Yeah, like, it's not uh, like you. <laughs> look at him and that just showing his ID to bouncers. <laughs> that, that'd be happy to be fair. If, it, if, it's, if it's a Southeast Asian woman who's got your ID, <laughs> you, might, you might get away with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little fucking Cambodia scene over there, look at him like. All, for, like all for a nifty. I know, I know. Was it worth it? Y- no, it weren't because I thought I was going to get more. <laughs> have, you had, have you had the nifty yet? As well. about, yeah, I got a paid out to me. I was like that balling. If I'd have got about 150 quid, they could have done what they wanted with me ID yeah. like, but I didn't. I got 50. I just so think it's interesting up. how much people are willing to sell themselves yeah. in identity just for a quick nifty. But but we're can, all, we're I, all content also, creators. Right, j- 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 Bro, everyone milked the community, and I just think, wow. Yeah. Wow. I can't say nothing because I've said this before in the past. Like when I was younger in primary school. And like we'd always do like charity events and all that. I'd go around knocking on houses door to door, collect the money for the NSPCC, right? <laughs> and I'd have the form, and then I'd just keep the dough and not give it to school. <laughs> so like I was exploiting kids, getting battered. So I can't say nothing. I was, I was under why, eleven, but that's why the universe has the pager. I'm Lady Ginger. Baby, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flat and ginger. You used to be six foot six and black. Oh, all that's that. so six funny. Six foot six and black. Wow, he was an handsome guy when we started this podcast. Smoke that though, innit? Not I prefer, you know. Thanks, mate. I you do. look weird, skinny. Yeah, have you never seen pictures of Gary Skinny? I found the pictures. Right, right, it, it, it doesn't, it, do, it no, looks, looks like someone's scary, photoshopped it. Androids, it. Androids, don't trust them. Can't. Don't trust to be blue on them. <laughs> wow, you look different. Is that AI? No. That was me. That's just no part. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That went in that what? long Did not what? even hear him then. No. He, he, he went to that AI and he went, no, that's just no pie. <laughs> 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 Daddy put the zingers. I was for you in the face. No, it was. I'll no, give it that. That's good. Same in the same You know this, lad. Like life. You know this, lad. We need to get an AI picture of you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You look like the producer. Hey, Jack's got a fucking jawline, though. Look. Yeah, Jack. Look at that, lad. Wow. That's the thing with ginger people. You like chew on bouncy balls. There's no in between with them. It's not like you get good looking gingers and then, ah, it's all right. And then, like, yeah. You get like, nah, and then handsome gingers. Females, like, there's no middle ground, they're either fucking dog shit. Or I, think, I think he's at all lovely. Do you get that with yeah. lads as well? Do you reckon lads are like he's that? He's just being horrible to his own kind. <laughs> I think, yeah. well, I don't know, because I've never really, I've never really given it much thought. You'd have to, if there's any girls watching, does, does the same, I doubt that it is, to be fair, but is that it, does the same rule apply to ginger men as, as, as it, we imply to ginger women? Why do we need to ask women that? That's defo, the, that's defo a thing, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I've never spoke to one about it. Because you can have, it, like, yeah. It's Did you do Timu? There's no in between, is there? Do I? Did you? Did you do Timu? I've not done it where I'm asking people to sign up. I just click my bed link and then I spend 17 quid buying fucking like <laughs> massage machines and Yeah, you can get them and... little massage I actually machines. bought them. <laughs> Paul Smith, did you use your idea? Yeah. <laughs> 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 But what could get the yeah. and just be a proper racist under the Gary Highland name? Yeah. But what is it well, actually doing? I swear down right there's a Gary Highland in Liverpool who is racist, right? Because he got <laughs> and always on the couch. Yeah, he's no, he's an Evertonian. No, he's an Evertonian, and he got done for being racist to Mo Salah on Twitter, right? <laughs> and like people start to message me going, "Lad, is this you?" And I was yeah. like, Wait, I "Swear down, watch, go on Google now, right? Type in Gary Highland, right? Watch this. It's not a nice coffee though." <laughs> 
Gary no, Highland. It looked like right, it so was obviously too. now I'm doing all right. I'm the first things that pop up. Right, look at this. No, no, <laughs> no. Now, I've, now I'm verified on Instagram. No, no. No, Google I'm not saying Gary. I shows on sale. <laughs> I, I, I pay for that. Gary Highland. That. In the look, whole comedy club. Look, and then a few lines down. Gary Highland sentenced for racist tweets. <laughs> Highland from Bootle Merseyside admitted racially religiously aggravated intentional harassment and obstruction of constable in execution. Yeah, he was racist. Show us your IMDb, like. lad. You know, uh, I want to flip it on its head. <laughs> Where do you just want to go with the podcast? Scam. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Ooh that's a good hey. I don't know, because at the start, we just started it to be us and be a laugh and organic and just like a kitchen conversation on the couch. It was boss. Then we started to gain a bit of a following and selfishly, like me and Danny were able to use that to help the comedy because we built a bit of a fan base. It allows us to put bums on seats kind of thing. Um, the little bit of ego inside of me still loves the fact that like, you get recognised and all that. I love that, but I don't know. Me, I, I, don't think, know. I, I used think... to like it. No, it's like, well, I'm having a scan. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. off the table. Seriously? Like, not all the time. Sometimes like, if people are normal. It depends who like, it, it is. He gets is the the thing. He's the face of the pod. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, there's two different ways it usually goes. People come over and they're like, ah, oh, lads, I've seen you on the comedy club or I watch the podcast, I can proper enjoy it. Like, you know, that's boss. Keep, yeah. keep doing what you're doing, lads. Love it. And I'm like, lads, thank you. And then there's the other. I mean, the, the, one the flips. Like, like yeah, like then that. there's the flip I side. That. Sorry, the, I like there's that. the flip side of it, you know, when you're out trying to have a scran. Or like you're, you're out just trying to like, like relax and, and then like just someone's coming over to Charlie and then they're sitting there for half an hour. See, I think that's part of the game. Yeah, it definitely is, well, but it's it, it's not a fun but part. I, I, think, I but think you've like forgot about that coming into it because you came into it for bums on the seats in your comedy, but it's a part of the game. Yeah. Yeah. The more you grow, the, that's going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that doesn't one. stop people from being assholes, though, lad. You yeah, know what I mean? So like, like, we like, do a podcast, if you're going to come over and say hello and say, you like, what are you doing that time? But if you're going to come over and be an annoying cunt, you're just an like, annoying like, cunt, lad. Yeah, so I think the difference, the difference between us and, and, and you, I think, that might be more apparent to us is... A lot of your, a lot of the audience that you've sort of cultivated on social media, generally speaking, will be younger than the audience that we've cultivated. So cultivated like, like I've just got them in a circle. Follow me. Follow me. Still, the audience that you've gathered, like generally speaking, I won't say cultivated again. Cause sorry about that. Like, <laughs> but, <laughs> the, 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 the audience, the audience that you've gained, <laughs> <laughs> generally speaking, yeah. might might be a bit like younger than the the, the ours. So like. When 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 you get it, it's it's probably a bit more. Like I'm not saying it's never a positive. Yeah. yeah. Whereas with us, like you you probably don't get a lot of people. It off the whose eyes, whose eyes are that big. Do you think with the topic of conversation you speak about, mm. and then the how open you are, people come up to you as and, and try and be yeah. open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I fully understand your point as well because I think it was I think it was actually Dan Nightingale who said this a while back. Yeah. No, no, oh, yeah. we know yeah, that, yeah, yeah, but we don't realise, like, I don't some, think we realise. There's some high-level comics now who we were flying who, like, and as I said, Dan Nightingale mentioned it, where he said, like, people come up to you in the street, and he went, and sometimes you're with your family and you think, fuck, come back off, but then at the same time, you've put yourself out into the public domain, yeah. and you're you're an entity, you're selling it's, yourself yeah. as an entertainer. It's like you've you, got like, to it's accept like we all, we, like, obviously, Gary's dad killed himself, so we all laugh about it and yeah, take the yeah, piss yeah. on that, yeah? When I was five, sorry. So, like, like because, oh, we all, because we all laugh. I'm writing a show about it, so. Because we all laugh. Yeah. Because we all laugh and take the piss out of it, and he does himself. People will then come over to yeah. the and go, Ah, your dad's dead, ah! And then it's like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, like, it's like yeah, you're yeah, one of them Indians, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You've got to know where you're at. Yeah. So, yeah, so look. So that's what the internet does, bro. Yeah, oh, it yeah. does, I know. Yeah. Do you think you know, yeah? You know, you eat at a certain time and drink. They know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, that's yeah. Like, yeah, that is yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I did do. <laughs> this is Twitter, though. No, no, it's just like, it's just. Type in Gary on the internet. No, no. <laughs> if you go this to is... howwaltacomedyclub.co.uk. No, this is someone's. <laughs> this is someone's comment. Uh, ah, that fucking, I, just, I remember the comment, but I want to show you this. But loads of people have so, Yes, yeah, so someone. So I, I've got a clip um, from being on stage at Hot Water where there was a tattoo artist on the front row and I've got a big tattoo on my back and the fella looks like he's had a stroke his face is fucked. So I was like, how can you fix me tattoo? I was like, it's in memory of my half fella because he was selfish and hung himself, right? So like, that was the clip and it was quite funny and someone had just wrote in the comments, your half fella hung himself out of sheer embarrassment of his son. And I was like, <laughs> nice one, lad. But it's not even that though, people have messaged you. Did that get to you? 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 Did that get
I'm with comments. I'm weird. At the start, it used to get to me, and I used to want to reply, and I used to want to. And argue. it used to make me laugh because he used to show his comments. He'd be like, "Lad, look at this comment about me." Lad. <laughs> and I'd be dying inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and it would it get to me because I was like, no. "These keep like, these just keep like someone done on Twitter on TikTok." People, I just keep, get called handsome. people keep making video with these, going, oh, look at these two beautiful people and all that. And then some little emo kid who loves our podcast made a video of me, the first one. I was like, get in, I've got one. And the video was just someone else whose dad died of suicide. <laughs> and they just turned to me and I was like, like, again, like no, I don't think it's a, it is as well. Like people, people. Like, do you know what that was like? Oh, four Premier League highlights edits with like two door cinema club player behind it, mm-hmm. like clips of me and him on the couch, and then it was just one to Gary show someone who's dad's dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, Bobby, that's dead as well. Why is it always me? <laughs> but it's the way you can interpret the message though as well, because yeah. there's been times where people have messaged you and said oh, and tried to take the piss, and you're yeah. like, lad, who the fuck are you speaking to? Well, like, had, oh, I'm only messaging. I had that one. Yeah, I had one a few weeks back. Right, I uh, I was in. I was in Holland with work and I walked past a cafe in Holland and it was called Slag Room, right? <laughs> Which in Holland it means like cream, don't it? So <laughs> I went to like boys didn't know your mask fucking opened the cafe in Holland, right? <laughs> and some some fan messaged and went, it means cream, you fat ginger prick. And I just went, Who the fuck are you talking to? You know, I'm, like, I'm only messing around on the pod. I'm sorry, I'm like, nah, don't start sliding the VDM thing. You said that. Like, but, yeah, but, but, yeah what, what, going back to what you say, do you think that we do invite that though? We're like that with each other. We're not. What you show it to the public, you invite back. That's you a very good point. Stop getting your balls out then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like you, you, you only allow the public to see what you show. Yeah. Okay. You're just so open. You speak about your lives constantly. Yeah. What you do when you're comedy, and you do that to sell upgrade your life. I don't know what you, you just do it to be in it. I just do. Yeah. No, no, no. You just love couches and make the phones. Yeah. That's yeah. See, the thing is with it, like, like I said to you before as well. It's like when people, when people come over to you, then like. Like, don't get me wrong, like nine times out of ten, it's chance. Yeah. Like, nine times out of ten, you just walk, like, you're walking through town and someone comes out, oh, can we take a little, like, we take a quick picture or whatever, like, all day. But, like, there's been a couple of times, and, like, there was one time in particular, I was out for something to eat with my mum, my dad, my brother, and my nan, and I went for a piss. Don't answer the lad. One of them is. She's like, she's shit. Imagine if she wasn't, that she's the one sweet lad. Just dragged her and stuck her on the chair. <laughs> Taxidermy nan for the scrum lad. Imagine that lad. <laughs> Penny for the nan. <laughs> little footy in a hoodie. To be fair, she's not great conversation though. Little, little, little Wilson. Will still bring her with us? <laughs> Everyone bails and leaves it with the bill. <laughs> speak, speak, speak to your mic. Right. Yo. Yo. How long's it not been waiting for? That's good. Fix the wire. So it's so sweet now. now. Yeah. 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 Hey, good call out. Well done. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Hey, he's here this morning already. Yeah. 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 Good to have you here, lad. Yeah. Good to have well you here. Done, he's yeah. here yeah. his face like, for the wage. Where yeah. was we, Danny's dead man? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like, I went for a piss, and then as I've come out the toilet, this fella. <laughs> your nan just be like <laughs> Can I get a picture? <laughs> so that was never no. your nan. Uh, you know what, my what nan, my nan signed up for the Patreon the week, you know. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you, yeah? Did you, yeah? Did you yeah. Did I signed up for the Patreon. Why did you have it for free? Well, that's like, that's how she's doing that. How she's doing that, Listen, when people, like, people who have businesses and all that, and, like, they want support off the mates, all the mates expect freebies. The best way to support your friends is to fucking put them on the other side. The family's not keeping it. I went on to see me nan. Hey, just just wanna <laughs> just to go and have a cup of tea with her. Um, <laughs> have you seen sorry? You like that? With, have you seen that where like on on, on TikTok or Instagram where there's like four screens, four videos, and there's this girl going, um, I got some really good news today, but my mum's passed away. <laughs> if I tell you the news, mom. can you just pretend to be my mum? So two of the fellas are like, oh, they're proud. <laughs> this other fella just goes. I haven't seen it. That is so funny. I haven't seen it. You'd love it. Go on, sorry, it yes, I, was, I, like, I come out the toilet. Comedy. I come out the toilet. And then, like, it, it's different as if I'm just, like, out and about and I was walking through town or whatever, like, but, like, I'd been, I was having a scram with, like, like my family and that. And then, like, I come out the toilet and this fella's come, and he was, like, he was, like, 50. Come over, like, he obviously off his bar. To the table? He, he, no, as I've come out the toilet. Oh. And, like, my dad was at the bar and I've shouted over to my dad to, like, go over home and, like, speak to my dad. Like, a little pram could do someone intercepted This yeah. fella's <laughs> Chiellini across me and I just <laughs> put, the, put the block on straight away. 
grabs me, like, he was only little as well, hugs me like around the waist and half like picks me up in front of my own dad, by the way. Lifts <laughs> me. Like, Just took your masculinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front of my dad. Gave and that he lad. starts going, lad, I fucking love you. And my dad was looking at me like, and I was going, <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, thank you so much. She's like, lads, I watched them. I was like, look, I was like, listen, I was like, I'm just having a scram with me, man. And I was like, I'll, like, see me as I'm, like, as I'm, as I'm getting off. I was like, I'm just having something to eat. No, 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 wait there, wait there. I was just like, come on, man. Like. <laughs> see, the way I look at that as perspective, look at that and go, oh my God, he loves what I do. I am so grateful for that. Stop making me sound horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you were going to do this. I knew you were going to do this. Nah, you were coming, I was like, <laughs> but also, they invite me in, a boozer, they're gonna be bladdered, they're gonna come over to you or a scrangaf. It was like four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm all for perspective, but if you're Charlie at four o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's I'm a fair point. I'm almost fair. I imagine being like fucking middle aged, fifties, right? Fucking four o'clock off your set, just pure choke slamming Ellen DeGeneres in the freezer. <laughs> <now. laughs> like imagine that. Man. There's something wrong with your life there, isn't it? Man? You're flying. Oh, man, it was crazy. Man. <laughs> Do you know what? Though? Like I've had, like, I've, I've, I've told this podcast, this story of the podcast ages ago. Like, the funniest funniest, funniest interaction I've ever had with anyone. I was at a little event, um, only round the corner for me, actually, to be fair. Um, and like, obviously, you know, I'd be at an event, maybe I'd ingested some 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 foreign substances, you know <laughs> what I mean, whatever. So I'm still there, I'm having a little dance, I'm having a boss time, and I felt someone tap me on the shoulder. And I've, t- I've spun around, and there was this lad, he must have been like 20, 21, and he just pointed at me, and just went, podcast, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, well, I was like, how are you, bro, whatever. Turn back now, carry on dancing, whatever. About 10 minutes later, he's tapped me on the shoulder again. And I just went, I was like, you all right, lad? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, lad, I've been dying to ask you this, you know? Like, I've been dying to ask you this for ages. Uh, what's up, lad? And he went, right. Like, put, probably put his arm on me, like, leans in, and that's what I can hear. And he went, you know this Liz Truss? Which she was prime minister at the time, I <laughs> Yeah. He went, what are you doing about her, lad? <laughs> I went, what, I went, what do you mean, mate? I went, what do you mean, man? Just like... I went, what, yeah, just like, he was like, what are you doing about the other ones? In what way? He was like, like, what's your plan for Liz Truss? You're like, the voice of the I people like, now. I don't know what podcast you think I do. I was like, we are not political speakers. I just don't know where that's all. going, though. Where could that go, I don't man? know where that's like, going. Like, 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 I'm Guy Fawkes mm-hmm. or something. Like, what I'm doing, I'm going into the tunnels, lad. I've got... He's an industry plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's I, being I, I actually it. work for the Tory party, yeah. to be honest, I'm just here to spread the message. He's listening to the stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so, give the speeches. So why is it still Ryan? Um, so my brother was called Still Mick. Okay. And I just robbed his name. Oh, okay. Don't tell him, because then he'll want fucking 50%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wants <laughs> royalty. So where did it start with you then? Was it the streaming? Where you first started? Was streaming, it? live streaming, but it was all in the game industry. Mm. Does anyone game here? Yeah, yeah. love Demons, it. You know, I'm, halfway the the I'm halfway through the Red Dead campaign at the minute. I've never Red played Dead. the campaign. Hey. Never played the campaign. I always tie people up and just take them to the river. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just watch them. So you're sick in the head like us as well? Nice. Nah, not me, that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Wait, get your cameras on there. Don't say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, gaming lads. I just Bosh, created yeah. a community. You know, when you go through an hard time and you just like it's shipping on your own. Yeah. Listen, games lah. Like, any time I'm going, any any time I'm going through anything tough in life, lad. Like, games escape. As a kid, it was always it. being like put your heads on and you just lost. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like that generation's going a bit. Do you yeah. 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 It's not like put your heads. It's like become pro at it now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's it's not, not fun no more. Anymore, no, yeah, it's like yeah. competitive. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Type of pressure, so how old was you when you started the streaming then? 18, 19. How old are you now? Sorry. 21. Okay. So I was like 16, 17 streaming to like one, two viewer. Yeah. And then 18, I started picking up Pick, yeah. in the Rocket League scene. I'm off, lad. I'm, a, I'm Is gone, that when I'm that gone, was? I'm gone. That, that was I'm gone. Really? I'm gone. Like Tom so funny, lad. <laughs> I used to do loads of like high energetic stuff, but it was becoming too much for me. And I thought, I've got a bigger personality yeah. than to sit in my box room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not against gamers. I just no, knew I had yeah. bigger potential somewhere else. You know else. what you want to do, don't you? you know and then mean? I went in the public scene and it just... Blew up. Blew up. Yeah, yeah. it did. And like quickly as well, though, yeah. it, to be fair. Right? Like, that must have been quite a bit... Quite I've been doing public now for two years and like... It blew up. Yeah. yeah. And it, you know what's funny, right? I uh, I had this this company reach out to me a few weeks back asking, they said, oh, I love the comedy, love the podcast. 
we want people to start interviewing fans outside Anfield. Everyone wants games. everyone to do it. And then they were going, and here's what we want, and we're just sending me your videos. And I was like, how oh, funny <laughs> is that? That's insane. That's people message me. Yeah. Like, I won't be able to get out of the door now, my <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yeah, there's shit videos then. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you know what though? One thing, one thing, I, one thing I wanted to ask you as well is like, because obviously, like the not just like the style of content that you made changed, yeah. but like the whole sort of like I don't want to say like the message, but like the whole sort of like meaning yeah. for the Will content that you be made. Your seen? fucking self. I brought Riyadh into my team now, slowly and hopefully permanently soon. But like, you, have you built a team like around yourself? I think. I always used to have this thing of like, when's a team gonna come? But the most important thing is, it's the people you meet, you just naturally build people around you, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, when you get to 30, you'll have more friends and more people you know, yeah. and you'll naturally just go to people for certain things. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I'll speak because I'm a little bit older, I'm 33 now, like, when I was like, late teens, early 20s, there's people in your life you think, are oh, these are me fucking boys, these are for no. life, and they just drift away. It's just them people who, who fucking naturally, organically yeah. just come around you and you go, right, I can go to them for anything. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. the thing is, when you're my age now, like Luke, our photographer, um, I've been mates with him since we were fucking kids. Like his man and my man were mates. We can go weeks without speaking, but then can rely on each other fucking like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. what you want. Don't you have people like that. So yeah, I know so what you're saying. Do you not do the streaming anymore then, though? No, it was the energy. Um, Literally... I'm filming and then to come home and do it, it's hard graft and I pay respect to people who do that. Like Gingy goes on a shoot yeah. and then he'll come home and do a four or five hour stream and yeah. it's graft. Yeah. But my energy, lad, I just put all my eggs in one basket and then I'm drained. Yeah. And yeah, it's a long, it's it's a long process. Mean, public, content, hard, but public content, it's like, it's social interaction constantly. Yeah. yeah. So like, like that situation where people come up to it, I'm used to that. So like, it sounds a bit cocky, that, doesn't it? No, no, not really, it's not. Because it's, it's like you've been, yeah, you've been I, doing it for the last couple yeah. of years as well, so eventually you, get, you are going to build... I love people like, and I'm good with people, so I know how to like start a conversation, say hello, if we get a picture, we get a picture. I know how to just share that love yeah. back and forth. and then. Yeah. But doing that, it's energy draining. Fucking social so battery. Need, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need that recharge, and that's exactly. where I want to start going back to streaming. Because yeah. that recharge of like just gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the yeah. only thing I don't live stream now is because I wouldn't be recharging. I'd be entertaining again. Yeah. So it's fun. What would you prefer? What? What would you prefer? Oh, it's a hard question. If now. you could make it in Depends one on or the, the day, other, what would you pick? Also, can I just jump in there? No, what I mean? Like, I know you've already half made it in like the public scene and you've oh, half done your thing in the. No, but you're half. Realistically, oh. and then if you're half oh. done your oh, thing oh, with the stream. The other half is on the other side of this couch. But when you go back into the streaming, right, you don't have to be. As high energy because you've already got that massive fan yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you don't have to go for you at that point. So yeah. it's like you, you can, can just, just chill. be organic Ryan and enjoy playing the games. You don't have to. No, no, it's still, still, still Ryan. So. Yeah. Still. Change it to organic Ryan. Grass fed Ryan. Free games, Ryan. Heavy a boot. This is shit. Still gang, this is shit. Eat this. So what then do you reckon it was? It was that clip that sort of blew up, that sort of helped you get that little bit of a, a boost in what you were doing. Because no. there was that, don't you reckon it was no. that? No, no. Lads, in my content, Jenny, I've done so much. I've done I mean, before all this, though, because it was sort of that, that sort of, not got you out there, but it was, was like, that, that, that sort was of... the first the, time I ever come across yeah, some of your content that I'm with gone, that, gone, gone. that yeah, yeah, clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that actually got uploaded like three, four years ago. Yeah. But blew up two, three years later. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I, I, oh, I didn't shit, even know okay. that, man. So we've done well. Mm. Done well, I mean, like um, millions. Resurfaced. And then the football clubs were like, oh my God, every player that runs fast, we can use this. Real Madrid, Everton, Liverpool, every Premier League club. Um, the Paralympics used it with this amputee. <laughs> and it went, it, it Did lad, he? What, like your voice over it? <laughs> lads, if you That's go on. So oh, funny. I didn't know that. If you go on your phone and type It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. What about my half of his leg? <laughs> and then, that but the run, and the, it just blew up and took over the internet. and. At first, my name weren't there because the kids re um how do you like reclipped it reclipped it up yeah. but shorter yeah and yeah. everyone's used that yeah yeah, yeah. messaged the kid and said change the names are still Ryan and he has so he's sad like, yeah yeah fair but enough but that was the first like worldwide clip yeah okay. worldwide and is that where it changed then do you reckon I don't know where it changed because I was so 
I was, I, it was like I was, I was like, I was like blinkers on, lads. I've literally came out of a phase now where I've like re energized myself. Well, what's, the, wait, oh, what's the other one? Like, you don't lad, you were terrorizing and so on. Was that it HST, HST, lad, yeah. that HST, was that's so funny. Funny. As long as I do content and he does content, that clip will always follow me, and that's digital footprint. Yeah, 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 lad, that's a yeah. funny that clip. That was my though. phase of like being a loud, energetic scouser and being lost and not knowing what I actually wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's on the internet, it is. No, no, but to be fair, to be fair, like, he is a sausage, though, so it's like... Would you box him? It's whether he box me, like, (laughs) (laughs) I think. (laughs) I've messaged him a few times, and he hasn't got behind me yet, but... (laughs) (laughs) He was in a car crash the other day, weren't he, actually? Did you see anything about that? I think it's fake. I don't don't know, you know, so he's he's got this lad... Bobby's an expert in car crashes, let him know. It's all right, lad. (laughs) <laughs> he's, 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 he's got Did a tattoo you? on his eye yeah. to commemorate yeah. it and everything, and he loves Rough it. Lad. Um, but he's, he's got this, this, this lad, and I think this, this fella must be, he looks like he's in his 30s, and he's, I think... G. Yeah, and like, like no, not even in like a sort of like derogatory way, he's, he, I think he's he's got some sort of special needs, like yeah. that's very apparent. Yeah. And this HS Tiki Tok, he's like Adam had, had out in Dubai and that, he's getting him around all his only fans, but is like, like half like making a show of him, but yeah. trying to make it seem like he's like, oh, me and him are mates, do you know what I mean? Like, like it, it, yeah. it's horrible, like, but he's been doing it for months and months and months. And then a pat, like, he had, he, he come back to the UK um, with this lad, and yeah, he, 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 he with the, in this brand new McLaren, and he's driving it somewhere, I think it was down south, somewhere, I assume that's where he's from, because he's a knobhead. And then <laughs> he's, he's he's crashed the car, got out the car and legged it, and left this lad who's like... On the floor, for just, just like on the side of the road, like on the floor. Like it's fu- But then he's like, oh no, yeah, it weren't me in the crash. He just jumped on a plane back to Dubai and fucked off. It's a PR stunt though, because every, every, every clip that's being shared, there's a song or a Patreon link underneath it. It's a PR stunt. Do you reckon? Mm. It, General G might be, no, definitely might be it. But yeah. like, for every post he's put up, he put a video up, I seen someone shared it, of him literally driving in another McLaren, saying like, I'm not a bad jock or something. Now don't quote me Apparently on that. Apparently that was before the crash. Oh. I think if, if that's but the one we're talking it. about. Yeah, yeah, but obviously, so it, it, it's, it's like, you sound when like you people, that it's like, Definitely. You know where, I mean? where do people have the line between content and reality? Because it's like, you make, like him, TikTok, 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 whatever, he'll make content, but then if anything happens in his normal life, because obviously, like yourself, you probably film everything, so he's just using shit that's happened that's real as now content. Everything's content. I'm sure it isn't that like that with you, with yourself, though. Everything, everything is, is just content. content. Everything is content. You can flip everything. I try not to get involved in all that fake drama shit, you know? I, yeah. Yeah. I, think I just, just think, weird, like, there's there's no, yeah, no I just try and keep in my own lane as much as I can. But is it, it easy to stay in your own lane, though, or is it a challenge? I don't know. I don't know. I've never found it hard, but obviously people put your name next to them or yeah. say, like, would you do this? Or I just try and stay away from that drama. I, I try and be real, lad. Yeah. I try mm. and, like, keep it as real, authentic as I can and transparent with my community yeah. and build an actual community. Yeah. Not, oh, lad, it's, it's hard. No, but no, I, no, think, no. I think where that'll be beneficial, always, like, say, say in a couple of years' time, you think, I don't want to, like, switch it up and try and do something different because you've sort of, all, like, because you haven't built, a, like, a community or a fan base around, around just just bullshit stuff. Yeah. If you ever decide, you know, I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to, I'm going to try and do this for a couple of years, I think you'll have the freedom to do it because you know, you've not got like a, you know, a community of people who are Lads, expecting to say I put my bread on the table for my community yeah. and I think in today's day and age in content creation, someone who owns the side men says it, one of the three, what's his name, Riyad? Jordan. Jordan, yeah. the lad who owns the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jordan, he's one of the side men's managers, he's one of three. He says in today's day and age of content creation, there's no actual community for mm. the creators because everyone is just viral clip to viral clip. Yeah. And it's a numbers game, it's yeah. not a community. Yeah. And that's why I've always lent to the community because yeah. I've realised how special it is to have 10 actual people know the names, know what they get up to. Yeah. And that's why I love the live stream inside of things because I can genuinely connect. I mean, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. a young demographic, they're going to grow at you as well and you being your natural organic self, it's not like you're forcing something and as they get older they go, he's full of shit him because you're just being Ryan. It's just grown with you. No, you are the key and that's what I try and push as much as possible, be yourself. But like in today's content creation, your community are the main thing. Yeah. Mm, like, yeah. that they are the fucking... They disappear. Yeah, without without, doing, without, without, without the like people, that. without yeah. people watching what you're doing and support what you're doing, you're just Pointless. mentally ill. But I think people... In, <laughs> in, 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 in a room, <laughs> talking to cameras. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> we're yeah. we're yeah. at the point where we just turn these cameras off and just have a breakdown I'm on the couch. I'm just doing every Thursday night, just hyperventilating on the couch. I think that's where, like, 
the difference is though to longevity and like short term quick grab money 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 yeah, yeah yeah like i actually just care about my community and that's where i get to stay in my own lane yeah because i just stay focused on them and don't focus on the drama backstabbing cliffing off people climbing off them yeah that i think that's what the, that's what the majority of people say and do you know to be fair and to be honest I'm all a, respect I, to them though as well like they want to make their i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna them. i'm gonna be on a different side i've got absolutely no respect for them um <laughs> no that's fair because, because like, like i mean if, if they just so happen to end up in a bit of a public discourse with someone you go fair enough like it, it, it can happen if you if, if you put yourself in the public eye and somebody else put themselves in the public eye your paths could cross you could clash whatever but there's people who like people who set stuff up like like do you know one thing i've been seeing a lot on social media recently and it 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 it, it, it annoys me so much right so like obviously like the last few years only fans has become like a very publicly accepted thing you whether you're accepted or not you've got no choice because it's in your face anyway it's there and i'll just twitter's heavy for how, yeah. how funny no, is no, that listen, mark employed by no. only fans saying they were getting rid of it by the way no but listen so <laughs> what what does this does this thing on twitter now right where what because generally speaking the majority of people watching porn it's a, a, a large percentage of that industry of, of that industry's consumers are going to be young men, like teenage lads, young lads in the teens to the early twenties. As in the percentage of a man to lose his virginity dropped because of how because accessible of... porn is, like. Yeah. But so there's like the, there's there's a thing now that I think it's genuinely one of the serious things I've ever seen, and it's it's been done in a, in a way where it's just sort of appeared, and now it's there. There's these there's like a group of. There's like a group of girls and each team in the Premier League's top six has got one of these girls attached to it. Oh, oh man, no. Right. What are you going to say? Right. 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 And now, I've listen, seen the picture. Listen, I think... <laughs> now, I think it's... <laughs> Not that one. That's 12 quid a month, you yeah, can't but, but like, Bargain. <laughs> but... but so like I, like I, w- w- when I say attached to the club, I don't mean like I'm not, I don't I don't mean like the working for fucking Man City, but w- I mean as far as I'm aware, like but, you've got you Astro, yeah, like, 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 like Chelsea, and, and, and like and, and watching, yeah. w- and like what they do is after every game because they got like on Twitter, there's that big like football Twitter community where it's just like the the, the, the majority of its kids are like twelve. Have you noticed yeah, the but, fan bases are turning against them now though, yeah. saying like I seen a girl tweet the other day, I think she was an Evertonian. She said, like, you are making it hard for us women, ladies, girls to watch football without being judged. Yeah. yeah. It's already, yeah. this is what the tweet said, not quote by quote, but she said, it's already difficult being a woman watching a man, like, football. A man's sport, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're making it more difficult because you're trying to sell, like, third party, your only fans. Yeah. Through the through 40 football. club. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, she was just saying, like, it's so hard. It's but weird, it's though, because I think, because... The, they, they they know as well. They're not stupid, and 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 they're probably not asked either. But they know their target audience is probably. But they're people. winning. They are. They are. Because we're speaking about it. Did you see yeah, that? Exactly. Did you see that no, no, no. got that lad in trouble because like she put a story up. It was from the the um the cup final, the Carabao Cup final. How it, she'd been sold a fake ticket and she couldn't get in, and she'd met this random fella. Oh yeah. And he he gave up a spare ticket and like she was plastering it all over the internet and then like. It was all lies. Like he hadn't done that because his work had given the tickets. Then his work were like getting him in trouble. I can't remember the full story, but loads of people were tweeting, going, "Fucking take it down, you stupid bitch!" Because you're yeah. getting him in trouble with work for your well, lies. Do you know, do you know what's mad about that as well, right? So do you know, there's that Astrid. Then yeah. there's that bird who does the Liverpool one now, Shut and then there's the other bird. The, the other bit, I think, is it Alexia or Alex something? And then there's another one. So there's four of them, and all four of these. So like, one's Liverpool, one's fucking city Liverpool chelsea, chelsea the, yeah, whatever yeah. and they all pretend to have beef with each other but then someone put a picture up the other day and it's Nothing a pi- it's four pictures so it's like the bird in who sports liverpool in this kitchen bird who sports chelsea and they're all in the same kitchen so they've they all, all probably live. got the same manager no, they all yeah, live, that's just they like all live in the same house look, you throw that top yeah. on out of this i'm gonna beef you you beef him you beef him yeah yeah and, and we're all in the same podcast yeah yeah, yeah. No, but they all live in the same cut the what's happening they all live in the same house just beefing each other yeah that's what that's how they're trying to sell it so then if we bring it back to like the content i do that's why i just do simple giving back, making people happy shit. Yeah. Because there's so much content, there's so much of everything in today's world, it's all fake and misleading. Yeah. Then if someone mm. hates on you, they're a knobhead because you're genuine, <laughs> genuine stuff. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, people hate on me, but <laughs> if, like, literally... Sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> 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 he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the fourth time he's I'm made up we before he was here, you know? <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, just simplicity, boys. Content yeah. is simple. Yeah. It's the best place to be. Nah. I do get hate though if you don't believe that. 
I'm oh, no, no, we definitely. I've seen some of it, lads. Listen, it, it, it comes Go, with the yeah, territory. Saying, it? What have you seen it on? Mostly Twitter, to be fair. I think it is family WhatsApp chat. <laughs> 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 well, no, like, like, it is mostly Twitter, like, because. <laughs> Twitter's horrible, don't like, it? But, but like, that, that is just what you get on Twitter, because the thing is, like, and it sounds mad, because you, you, I, like, I always find myself doing it. You, you find yourself speaking about different social media apps, like, it's an actual place. And and it's weird, like, there's a Dave Chappelle bit in one of his specials when he's like, his son's like, ah. Oh, you, you, you're getting slated on Twitter. He's like, that's fine. Like, Twitter's not a real place. Like, but like, you, you, I find you notice a difference in the type of people, or at least the type of responses you get to content across Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, yeah, it's and the Twitter. Cultural platforms, yeah. different cultures. Like, like Twitter is sort of everybody. Un, Freedom not, of not, speech and not, hate crime. Not, not everyone, <laughs> but not everybody. But like, there's a large group of people on Twitter who they sort of use it in a way I think it's like for their own ego like they could see the most like they could see the like like a video of a man saving a dog from a house fire and they're like well what do you do about kids with cancer like they, they just everyone just has to put their own ego and their own pity like on Instagram if you see something you might go in the comments and there'll be a few knobheads taking the but you, but you go on Twitter you see something everyone's quote tweeting yeah. it like it, like I, I've noticed especially when it comes to like because our content we've never really tried to push it on Twitter because like podcasts there's only very few of them who, who actually Succeed have got Twitter. a community yeah. and have built something on Twitter the majority of it's just people who are like oh well it's like, well, then and just we've had our clips like put up by other people on, on Twitter, Twitter and we've yeah. been absolutely like it's yeah. weird like it's just like no, no matter what you do, it, uh, but especially with content, no matter what style of content you make, there's always going to be people who don't like it. Do you get a lot of hate? Would you say? Uh went through my YouTube comments the other day, and there's this clip where the girls like doing a. Uh, oh, it's not. It might be Penny for the guy. I don't know. It's something around yeah, that, yeah. and it's outside Goodison, and I'm with me mic, and I've got nothing on me, hmm. and she's like, "Oh my god, it was my dream to meet a YouTuber." You're that guy. Yeah. Something along them lines. She's yeah. like, it's my dream. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm just a normal lad. Yeah. I do content. And uh, she's like, oh, my God, can I get a picture? Blah, blah, blah. I've got a picture in that. But I've uploaded that as a social interaction. Yeah. Lads, everyone was like... Um, why didn't you give it a free hoodie, lad? No, literally, like, <laughs> why didn't you give it a father, you scruffy scout? <laughs> like, <laughs> just, like, hitting me with loads of stuff. And I was, I was like... Happy. I can see your point, but also but I had no like doll on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think she takes contactless. Yeah. I had no <laughs> doll on me, but everyone was just ripping into me, like, the horrible size, the scouser, horrible just like, typical not, scouser. Yeah. But it's mad as well, because obviously, I don't know your financial status, but people will look at you on the internet and think you're fucking Bruce Steve from a show yeah. and, and, I, and again, I don't know if you want to keep this in or not, but I recall a conversation quite a while back. We were in Have A Weird Studios watching the UFC with Carl. And you were in there, and I remember a few of the lads talking to you, going, "Your platform's that big, like you need to become a business now." And I was like, "That's when I realised that you were just Ryan. You ain't in it for purely business, like fucking." You can keep this in. Yes, yeah, this is this is the, about the thing I'm talking about with the community. When people say monetize your audience and like create this and create that, I get it. But it's like I know these are people on the other side of the camera that I care about. Yeah. Mm. I don't genuinely mm. look at them as a dollar sign. I look at them as fucking people. John, Carl, yeah, you yeah. know, Gemma, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at them as people and care about them. Yeah. Mm. And that's why, no matter what I go to, my community value it because I value them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and I'll always matter, yeah. like value. That is a quite a unique perspective these days, though, as well, because everybody. And I mean, to be fair, that's what I'm talking about. Every, with content. Being guilty of it, people rush straight to turn the monitor and stuff. And I mean, obviously, I understand at some point down the line, if obviously if it's something that you want to sort. If it, if it is how you want to make a living, there is that like there is going to be ways and means that you have got to monetize it to make it feasible. Yeah. Like like we need to our minimum requirement say, for the podcast. That. Yeah, there's there's no, no, but like our, our minimum requirement for the podcast is make enough money to pay rent on the studio, pay a producer, and we either got to do that through Patreon or through sponsorship. And I'm not gonna but lie, I think we got that wrong as well because I think we went too early with the Patreon. We got quite excited because we yeah. started to grow a little bit and we were like, oh, let's get some Patreon and we'll get some money. Yeah. And we didn't have enough content in yeah, the yeah. backlog and we just went straight at yeah. it. And then we were under pressure to make sure we were fucking getting stuff yeah, up all definitely. the time. Like sometimes definitely. it does get you. And I think you'd only really get one opportunity to do something properly. Think because so. if no. you do it... <laughs> no. no, I, I don't like think it. so. This no, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's chances to fucking go again, but I think you get one proper opportunity because if you get it wrong, 
on, 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 a, on a decent sized platform, if you get it wrong, then that's fucking it's hard against your name. It's hard, it's hard to come, come back, back from. from it, yeah. yeah, it's hard to come back you've, from Because you've it, yeah. tarnished yourself quite a bit and you've got a lot of opinions and it. it depends if you go in a completely different direction then, do you know what I mean? But I think... See, I, I, I just think in just to... Just to just go off you he said I, I like I agree with you I think obviously when things blew up with the podcast and that none of us expected it to happen as quick as it did I I, I always thought it would do but I, I remember saying to you when we first started they're like give it about three four years maybe I reckon we'll you know numbers yeah. wise we'll be there and then in six months I was like oh shit <laughs> the power of social media yeah, yeah so like, like you've got to know what not only what to do but when to do it and you've got to be ready for it's it. It's a formula. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes ready. you're not ready. No, we're no, not ready. You're just saying it now, like you sound like you weren't ready at that time. I was for late today. <laughs> 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 like, do you miss it? Yeah, yeah. I hear the camera noise twice before shit. The camera's going off. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking real. <laughs> 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 yeah. Little fucking Maris in the corner. I told you it was an earthquake, but it was him shaking. She's called you fat. Yeah, he did. No, it's all right. I'm not. We all hear it. We all hear it. We all hear it. We all hear it. Sorry about him, Gary. I still don't think we are ready. No. I don't think we are. Do you know what? It's like an F1 race. It's like you go down this track, you'd have a blow up, and you'd change. You might just have to not not knock the wire. Are we golden? Just inserted. Keep an eye on that chat, lad. Right, I just won't touch it. <laughs> Every time I touch it, it fucking breaks. So it's like, content's like an F1 race. You go round the lap, you change your tyres. You've got more experience. And the more laps you go round, the more goals you're having. Now, every time you blow up, you might not be ready, but that time will come again. Yeah. But you've had experience from the last one. And that's like the same with gaming. I blew up in gaming, but I weren't exactly ready to <coughs> take advantage of the blow up. Yeah. And get that like flow going with yeah. re- consistent uploads this and that it's momentum in it yeah but it's also experience yeah experience and momentum it's like learning every time yeah and being consistent enough to wait for the next it is up. just consistency mm. and I, th- I think consistency is literally key especially when it comes if to all the content if you literally think of your first clip blown up now to a clip blown up now mm. the difference of you is being like okay what was funny in that okay we'll create you know what I mean yeah so we, we've, we've seen that like our most successful clips is probably when it's just being us being us yeah mm. nothing's forced being yourself like, well two two that come to mind straight away is the one when I phoned me ma yeah that was a massive clip and then when we had the breakdown of our Peppa Pig being a little slag yeah like, because <laughs> we were just fuming about our Peppa Pig and we were just being us and having genuine opinions they fucking went dead big and like it's when we have forced sort of when I say forced but yeah it's not natural it's not. It as, doesn't work. It doesn't pop yet. It's just when we're being ourselves. Yeah. So do you know when you say when you, when you decided to go from like the gaming side of it and then into more like the public domain of it? Did you have like because obviously a when plan? You, yeah. Did you have any and so okay? Did, did you have like not not even something as rigid <coughs> as, as a plan, but did you have like a sort of at least a structure of how you wanted a to strategy. do things, or did you just sort of no. go into it and see where it led you? Go into it, see where it led me, and see where he ended up. Mm. I I was yeah like you, it's how a bit risky you, in it though as well. But it, it, how, how can you go into something that you've never done before? Yeah, yeah. and create a plan. Yeah, I yeah, yeah like, that's yeah. You're learning as you go. Why yeah, did yeah. you edit this podcast when you used to? Because when you're looking for someone to edit, you know what to look for. Yeah. You've got to know what to yeah. like. You've yeah. got Fucking philosophy with Ryan. Eh? You're getting taught yeah. a few things here, lads. Lads, I. You're an old dad on a young. I just shows, love like. talking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lads, really? <laughs> can I come on this pod like a regular? Do it, I'll do it, i do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Milk that. me, lads. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, no, I do, I do get, I do, I do, I do get what you mean, though, because like obviously, like when things obviously started fucking, because like it, it happens quick as well on social media. It's not like a graduate. It's not like being an actor where you'll get a part in something and then you get a part in something else and then something else and then and then you're the agents are begging and go, do you want to audition for this film? It's like you like it can it literally it's in the space of like days. Like it, I think our Instagram in the space of like three days went from. I think it was three and a half thousand followers to thirty five thousand followers. It grew by, it yeah, grew by like a, by like a, a, by a hundred yeah. percent in yeah. like. We really like conversion rate. No, I didn't pass nice about you, but, though, like I speak about a lot of people who own businesses and do social media to do it as a team, use it together. Yeah. yeah. If there's a problem, you can message each other. Mister Beast has an ana- analogy where it's like if one person fails in a group, the other four will succeed through that problem because hmm. he's already failed and they can learn off him. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I'm on my own. I'm yeah. slowly building a team around me. But like it gets lonely, man. Yeah, yeah and you, you one need, thing people you need don't that voice of reason sometimes because you, when you've got a team and you've got people around you, you don't want a group of yes men who are just hype men, like, oh, lad, yeah, keep doing that. Keep yeah, that. You need it's the most dangerous thing you can have. And we, had, we yeah. had it a few months ago, like, we've openly spoke about it. We got to a point a few months ago where 
we had a couple of differences of opinions and it was kind of just in the background and we knew it was there but we didn't address it and then we just come in the studio one night we said we're not recording and we just spent two hours going at it got fucking our differences of opinions out we went to like sound we've got a good plan let's move forward and that was an actual turning point for us yeah. Yeah. the difficult thing was with, with it as well is like a lot of bobby's opinions were inherently racist so we had to, <laughs> so, we had to yeah, work just around it yeah, yeah. 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 just couldn't yeah. help yeah. it yeah it wasn't any good it wasn't any good for the that's the car crash bob yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. it's because he gets flashbacks he's just ramming yeah yeah was black which didn't help you should have heard him <laughs> but fuck, no, it is it, it, like it is a mad thing. I think obviously, like, because like you, you sort of you, you make a very different style of content to what we do, and, and obviously vice versa. But as much as it's different, I think it's very, very similar. Like the like the even though you're going out and doing something, and we're sitting here and doing something, the whole the process behind it, I think, I think the goal is always got, the same, innit? Yeah, because because I wanted to throw a question back at you that you asked us before. You know, when you said like, where do you want the podcast to get you? Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I actually, st- I, I just want to get to a point where it's it, full time. I can make a living from it. Yeah, full time. That, and then yeah. once I get to that point, then I'm uh, it's totally then, different, isn't it? then I can be like, okay, well, we're next. Yeah, so we good to minute. change your goals. Like, like you, yeah. I reckon you should have like a two year goal, a five year goal, a ten year goal. It should always when change. When we started. The goal was... To be self-sufficient. Because we were paying for it all ourselves yeah. when we first started. So it was like the goal of at the start was, well, let's get to a point where it's paying for itself. And lad, that was like a couple of months or something stupid, were it? And it was like, fucking hell, I've already done it. Now what? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like, we got that dead quick. I think now what the goal sort of is, is to do this like full time where it's like, we're not really... Is that Waking. a big enough goal? No, well, no, see, just for now. See, that's what I mean. Just for now. It, if it, we get that, the end goal. It's if just we the get, next one. if we get that. For it's now, where we're not working and this is full time and we're earning a bit of a wage. Right that's the goal right now. Then after, say we hit that goal, then it's what are we gonna be doing next? It's, you know what I mean. Scared it's, for it. No. You feel it coming. Well, no, see, because the thing is with it as well. It's like it's it's not like the way I like one of my biggest worries with 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 any of this. And to be fair, I've I've not got many of them. But one of the only things that does sort of worry me with it is like say say I want say I didn't want to be a comedian and do a podcast. Let's say I wanted to fucking own own my own cafe or my own little restaurant. If you try and do that and it fails, it's like ah, oh, well, don't worry about it. I'd have another goal. But if you if you try and become any sort of entertainer in any in any way shape or form and that fails people see it then so it's like it's a whole thing of like 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 imagine being imagine being 50 and you sat in the booze and it's out there remember him remember you? like it's that side of it yeah. that's where it gets that that's where it's worrying but it's like i i had a job interview a few weeks back and what it, for a job uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm an engineer in jail ah, yeah. yeah and i went for like a lead engineer's role um, Did you get it? No. Um, <laughs> I've, only, I've only been there like 18 months, so fucking I shouldn't really went for it, but fucking I know I'm Why good. Why not? I'm ambitious, isn't it? And he said to me, in, the, in my feedback, they went, listen, he went, you made the decision hard. He said, the only thing that went against it is just... Ginger. You're, ex- yeah, you're ginger cunt. <laughs> you know, um, you're experienced in JLR. He said, oh. there's just too many sorts of JLR systems that you're not aware of yet, and you will get it with time. What's JLR? Jaguar Land Rover. Oh, Belter. Yeah, Sam. But, um, but yeah, the question he asked me, which threw me was, they were like... What do you deem as success in your career? Heavy question. And when I was younger, like the podcast, now we're talking about like how being self-sustainable, making money, making a living. When I was younger, that was always what I deemed as success. Things that I'd personally done and I'm gaining from in terms of like money. Self-gain. Yeah, all that. And now I go, do you know what? It's, It's what impact I have on other people. And like, so in work, if I, if I can do something that helps someone else, and they improve or they change. It's an impact I've had on my peers, and I go, I've been successful because I've impacted them. And then mm. when we have people messages, and like I know we have a laugh, we take the piss all the time, but like we've had people messages going, I've been in a real dark place for the last few months, and your podcast got me through it. And I go, do you know what? That's what we do it for. Yeah, like as much yeah. as we want to earn money, the fact that someone might not have not might not be here anymore because they might have made a difficult decision well, and sucked their own lives. Yeah. Like, yeah, like <laughs> if if we were going when Mia fella was here, lad, he could have been alive, do you know what I mean? It's our fault, really, isn't yeah, it? It is our fault, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. Plug, now plug your show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You've got them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, 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 I Do you think... know what I mean, though? Like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's it. No, yeah, no, it's, it's a very valid one. Like, this I... is the most serious conversation you've ever had. Yeah, oh, yeah. we're getting oh, deep, like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> You blame you, like. Think you're going to go like that or just like that? <laughs> yeah, I think, obviously, like, we've all, we've all like, between the three of us, we've probably all got a different individual end goal, but at least for this, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a fucking group project. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, it's not necessarily the end goal, but I think the next step for us is to try and get to the point where like we're not having to worry about cause, like 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 okay well how, how are we making money and then how are we gonna then do this like obviously like scary yeah it is but like like you with you doing a, a, a very different sort of thing to what we do what like what's the end goal for you if you yeah. even it's to build an empire brother you see Gary V Gary yeah, V yeah, is yeah, literally yeah. created his own empire through consistency loyalty creating a foundation of a community it's to build an empire of love man create opportunity build youth centres fucking be transparent with my community to a certain extent and then personal goals are more like retire my mum and dad get my community to number one um lads are just just that positive shit because i know how shit it is to feel shit yeah, yeah. Respect, it's even worse when you're on your own yeah you know what i mean like that how do you deal with that when I mean, you said before like we're a team and you said you're, it's quite lonely it's lonely times. bro it's lonely i'm on my own edit and i'm filming sometimes on my own it's lonely. I love being around people, but you are you are very lucky to have each other. Yeah, you can just like I can message people, but it's n- they're not like they're not gonna get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to explain how I'm feeling because they're not in your world either, are they? It's different. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. And I'm not saying I've got it hard, but it's just hard to explain. Sometimes you're in your own head. Like no, my dad said to me the other day. My dad said to me the other day, "Where's all your ideas come from? Who says yeah when you're discussing a brand deal? Who says yeah? Who says no?" I'm like, Dad, I've just got a... It's my own head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard, I, it's I, know, I know what you mean, though. Like, like that, though, innit? Like, with all the hormonal changes of being 21, from <laughs> <laughs> 18 to 21... Finally getting hairs on you, yeah, William. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 what are we doing? <laughs> 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 oh, <crap. laughs> but yeah, it's just... It's not easy, but it's it's nice when you do get that. Yeah. Lad, it's, 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 have it's you, different. Have you had anything where it's rocked yet? Where you've gone, mm. shit... And it's had to make Explain you fucking think. Explain rock as in like a social media rock, like a fucked up or like... I, I, I don't know, it's, it's quite an open question in terms of like just... You're flying, you've got a goal, it's something hit you hard and you've had to fucking slam the brakes on and think differently. Probably the past three months. Yeah. Yeah, because I went so hard in last year. Yeah. Did you see the growth last year? I just went like that. Yeah, yeah. it was, man. I was going so hard. You were everywhere. I was posting like 70 to 80 times a month. I've got 900 posts on my Instagram. Who edits that? Who uploads that? Who films that? Break it, get to a breaking point with you then, yeah. So after in December and then after like January, February, March, I was just like, <sighs> yeah, burnt out. Wow, doing too much. Yeah, I didn't start graph lad. But like, it went a burnout. It. it was more of like, wow, oh my god, I've just like blinked in a mirror. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, wow. And then I started looking into what I've actually done, where the places have been, who I've talked to, and I'm just like... It's as if you're living in a simulation and not the real world, isn't it? I've just like... You've I'm created your own world so around consumed, yourself, in a way. Yeah, mm. and I was just like, wow, I need to take a step back. And then I took two, three weeks out, and I just started cut, doing things I don't like, cooking, started doing things where I could spend time internally, mm. started PT, like um, going to a PT, yeah. nice. working out, lifting weights, and just working on that self-development. And I've been very lucky to land in situations around people who are very knowledgeable. I seen you, where was it you went the other week? It was slow. Slovakia. Yeah, you, 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 you with fucking... There's a lad who... Yeah. was uh, Geoff Walsh was there, really. Geoff, man, but the He's always lived down the back of my when I was a kid. Yeah. Everyone, they were all amazing. It was just 18 men being real, forgetting about social media. It was fantastic, lads, and that, that... It opened your eyes up when you're around people like that because it gives you knowledge on, like, how to improve internal yeah, yeah. and not external. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a big part of it as well, and I think, obviously, we're, we're doing stuff on sort of social media, because, like, when you said then you saw it was blinked, and you were like, oh, like, <laughs> shit. Mm. Like, I, I, to, to an extent, I do know what you mean there, because, obviously, like, the way, the way things went with, with, like, when we first started doing this, and then it was, like, one day it was, like, oh, a few people are onto this, and then a few days later it was, like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah. Like, I, I, we're going back to before when you said, like, about, like, you're either ready for it or you're not. Look, like, look on back at it. I don't think we potentially were. Because it, it sounds mad, because it, it's not like we're fucking, like, celebrities, but a lot of people... It's an interesting conversation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, because, like, you, like you, you, you don't want to say it, like, oh, like, 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 like there's people who are genuine A-list fucking celebrities who get it a, a, million, a million times yeah. to, to, to the extent that, that, that we do, but 
it's still it's still mad because they could do like it's a two like I I want one week could go to town and go and do a bit of shopping and go and get a coffee and that was it that was my day but now you like even when people don't approach you you, you notice people people, like, you, people looking and pointing yeah, yeah. and that and it's like that, it, that's it's the maddest mad. one like where it's you're in the crazy. shop and you see someone clock you and then they start getting the phone out to verify to someone else go, oh, fuck that. and you can yeah, see it and you're mad. like they're not coming over to me but I know it's there and then you're thinking about it and stuff but you've still got to remember you're human you've yeah. got to have that bit of downtime and that's what Scano does his digital detox don't he on a Friday, Neither. his phone disappears. And, and it's like go going back to what you were saying there as well. Like I think if you're not and if you're not happy with yourself internally, it's gonna show externally as yeah. well. So yeah. you need to be happy with yeah, yourself definitely. before you can. Yeah, especially in like content and shit. Like in, especially you going out in the public and all that. Like if you're not happy with yourself, That's how are you gonna sit there and speak to people? Don't even get to me, bro. They can call me any name they want. It doesn't get to me. I just Never have sympathy though. for how they feel. Yeah, that's what it is. You're, they're not happy with themselves. They so just they've got it. They've got to fucking take it out on some cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I might have two seconds. And look at one and go, fucking hell. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
caring about the community. You just care about the numbers and earning off them yeah. and constantly mm. monetizing them. Mm. But it's yeah, easy yeah. to get distracted by the numbers, isn't it? Cause it's, it's easy it's to get sucked in. Yeah, yeah easy definitely. Easy definitely. definitely. Being socially aware, though, to pull yourself out and be like, I need to go and take a break. Mm. Yeah. It's the worst I think, thing I, I think, to be honest as well, I think, I think numbers on social media can definitely give you the false sense of security as well. A hundred percent. Like like to be honest, I've probably been guilty of it myself. Like when you like, you look at it like Everyone has. like the like you see the, the the podcast Instagram's going up in followers, then your personal Instagram's going up in followers. Like be, be, before any before we were doing any of this to be fair, I had social media but I didn't really like I was never they like, I, I was I used Twitter quite a bit, but I was never really that active on like Instagram. It's and just that. an escape to nose, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah, you just you just go and have a little scroll, see what everyone's up to and that. But then now it's like like I, like to, like I'll be honest, I I'm not really a big fan of social media. I think I think like I'm very selective sort of with our user. I think it sometimes it, it can give people too much of an insight in, into you as well. And then and then, and then as as we said before, people then people feel like. They know you to an extent, and like, yeah. like in 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 some cases it's sad. Like in some cases I love it, but then you you get people who like every now and again they do overstep a little bit, yeah. and it, and then it does get to a point where it's like just because just because I, I sort of show you this on Instagram that doesn't mean like I want you sitting down next to me my while I'm having a scram with it. And then <laughs> this is where I struggle in terms of I spoke to like a market and specialist a few months back, and he was saying to me like you know your Instagram, if you want to be a comedian and like a podcaster, that just needs to be over. It's a brand, it's you. And I was yeah. like, I can't because my Instagram is still me. I put my kids on there and I know I'm trying to be out in the public domain and I should just be a brand and be a comedian, but I can't separate the two because I still want to fucking have a personal Instagram and I still want to showcase my family life and who I am as a normal person. Mm. I can't just switch that off and just be... A comedian or a podcast. Don't you reckon that's mad though? Like I was having this conversation the other day, you know, when you said like you you, you still want to showcase who you are as a person and you want to showcase your family. But then I'm putting them out there in ether as well. Not even I don't I don't even necessarily mean for that. I just mean like don't you reckon it's crazy how like nowadays that's even a thought process people yeah. have? Like like I know I know it's it's it, it's not it it's it's not exactly like a fresh perspective to be like, isn't social media weird? But like it is though, isn't it? Like, like years ago, like imagine even you go back one generation to like our parents yeah. who were having kids in the nineties, yeah, who were building yeah. their family in the nineties. Yeah. There was like they would never have had the thoughts of, "How am I going to showcase my family?" No, it was that, never a thing. I, I know that, but I think the reason why I do it is because social media is so fake. Where people are like, "This is what I am like as a person," and you know it's not them. Oh, you know yeah, it's just 100%. a facade. I want to show people who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a human. That's at the probably end of the, the day. best strategy to do, though, because I've seen a lot of people who do a lot of market and say, like, if you're like a PT page, if you're a PT, you throw like uh, five posts up a week. Four of them post is resolved around what I'm eating, what I'm exercising, what I'm doing, blah blah blah. Everything to do with PT. And then on a Friday, I'll throw a picture up of me and me fell like mm. me and me bed or like me and me kids or I know yeah I nearly said that <laughs> nearly got it out there Knew but like one one of them po- posts will be a, a personal post yeah. like oh I'm doing this day oh, I'm going to Alton Towers and then every day after that it'll be PT 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 something else personal do you know what I mean because mm. that's probably the best way to build yourself yeah. up you know what I mean so what probably what you're doing is not a bad thing Yeah. I oh, just I, I, I always just wonder as well though now is like I wonder if obviously like Probably our parents and even like their parents who, who could probably never have and even barish, predicted. Like, fucking, fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they, they, could, on the they could they could have probably never have predicted. <laughs> <laughs> like they could probably never have predicted that social media was going to happen no. ever. And like I, I wonder if like because I think like not even from a a, a a perspective of like creating content. I just mean even from the perspective of having a personal social media you then have voluntarily given up a lot of privacy that no other generation before us has ever had to have given up like they did like that the privacy that previous generations had before before us that we've now not got was probably un- that was probably you could kill someone and get away with it yeah, yeah. Like, that was, <laughs> like that was probably yeah. a virtue that they didn't even know they had at the time is that that level of privacy like, if you didn't want people to know anything about your life Sweet. Yeah. But again, it's probably, again, it was also, it was probably, as you said, probably I mean, you can still do that today. now. You just don't go on Instagram. It's, it, I think it's so insane how we're having this conversation about social media platforms. I'm going to post it on social media. <laughs> just, <laughs> just everything about it. It's like the fact that it's even a thing that was speak. Like, wow. You go back 50 years ago. You wouldn't yeah, even guess it, yeah. We look, yeah, we look, we look at the original it. intentions of social media, the original intentions of Why social media. Why did they make it free? Was to make people more social, but it's made them more anti-social. Yeah. Why did they make it free? 
to fucking brainwash people into using it. They made a phrase just because it knew it just spiraled. Have you ever yeah, watched like um, um the, what's it called the social social fucking, network? Uh, well, yeah, well, Facebook was no, 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 on Netflix. On Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. Or something something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch it. No. So watch it, lad. lad you love so, it. So it's, watch it's scary. actual people who were like one of the the lead fellas. Do you know Silicon Valley? Yeah. Oh my, I've my watched two episodes where they robbed the did he rob them? Like their identity? No, no, no. no, 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 so it's, no, no it's like no. it's all about the power of social media. Yeah. Do you know Silicon, like, do you know Silicon, Silicon Valley in LA? Brainwashing and all that. No, you never heard of Silicon Valley. It's Have like, they like Sil- Sil- Silicon San Valley in, in a, it's not in San Francisco. It's San Anna, isn't it? No, San it's, it's Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh could be wrong. Could be wrong. It's somewhere. <laughs> it's it's yeah. just it's yeah. like it's, it's like Liverpool one. It's just like an area. Okay. But in there, it's like. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the, the, headquarters. So, the headquarters of all these big social media, Silicon Valley. And it's um, that's just where they all work and where they create all the algorithms and all shit for social media. But watch it because it's like, it knows, like their algorithms are that smart. Like it, it knows how long you're looking at a video for and it knows what video you're going to get up next. What is it, San Fran? Silicon Valley located in the southern part of San Francisco. Shit, area. he's stubborn him, that. He's yeah. horrible, isn't he? I know, yeah. horrible. And I would be bare all the time. I would be talking about something on the telly and I go, nah, I'm like, you're not going to make... I thought it was, I thought it was, I like for some reason. San Francisco is just... Fucking below. It's California. Oh, yeah. so you could LA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, so you didn't need to do that, really, did you? But you know, I got you, Bobby. It's a wrap. How long have we done, Jack? Like. 111, so, man. I keep going for a bit. Yeah, just keep chatting yeah. shit. I, just, I, I, I do think it's like. Because like, there's people who are. There's, like, there's people who are millionaires and billionaires purely because of social media yeah. and i just think it's fucking like but then but then you know when you think about it you know when you think and like you know uh, when i said like the, you know people could probably have never seen it coming but then when you think about it it was obviously gonna happen at some point because everyone it, it, everybody at their core is a nosy cunt yeah so <laughs> as soon as people <laughs> i am a soon, nosy neighbor <laughs> as soon as people have a chance to I wonder what Jan's down. I wonder what Jan down the road's doing. Like my ma, you know, my ma, obviously ma gonna jump at the chance for like without social media. Like my, ma, I call me ma the Grim Reaper. Like she loves death. If like anyone dies, <laughs> my ma's there. Right? I'll be bellowing my ma's phone because she's meant to be having the kids tonight and she's not answering. So I will phone a fella and go, "Where's my ma? Like she's not answering. She's meant to be having the kids." Oh, I'm. Billy's died around the corner, so she's gone round and she's making them all butties. Why? Like why? <laughs> like she does not like me ma. No, she's the neighbor. Fucking, Hovers around deaf lad. She's a nut job, and she's socialised on the back of deaf. Not to do with social media. She just likes to fucking be nosy hey, and how, go around. How deep do you think it's gonna go though? So if you think about it now, social media is still relatively new, right? Yeah. Really. How, yeah. deep, how deep do you think it's gonna get? Could you reckon you could see in about ten or fifteen years time, maybe even sooner? Do you reckon they're gonna start like teaching it in schools? As I an think option, they've got like, uh, I think you've got to start with My daughter really, just picked I've their been... options yesterday. And she's picked iMedia as an option. Really? Which is yeah. all about like creating and content. Yeah. Do the yeah. yeah. Oh, see, I'm, I, I thought there's, 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 there's already, there's already there's places in China which they call like they call them influencer factories, lad, and it'll be like a like a a, a, a warehouse floor. <laughs> Scary, isn't it, lad? It's like yeah. a warehouse floor, and there'll be a thousand like Chinese women desk, 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 and each one's got a Camera. phone with a ring light round it, and they're just selling. they're just yeah. constantly like TikTok lab it's selling. Crazy, stuff. lad. It's crazy. Really? Wow. To be what fair, say, though, like, what, what say, what one of the like? modules is on KSI. Is it? Yeah. <sighs> mad it's just mad though, isn't it? Like, it's like, you can do a degree in America on I memes. Wait, 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 just so mad. So you do a module on what? KSI. It's like, right, you got to go home and do one work. you got where KSI go first. Go watch that, man. got to sit there and play <laughs> FIFA and go, what, what, what do you mean? And then you just do that in college. What? What do you mean a module? Like a full like topic on them? Like like you're allowed to do an assessment on KSI. That, mad. But then that just goes like against human nature to be yourself. Like you're just copying someone Copy, else yeah, for success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mad, mad. This, this is why I stand, This is why I find yeah. human so valuable because you can put all this distraction and we can go deeper into that. And Have why you ever done acid? By the way, serious question. No. <laughs> don't lad. <laughs> you do not need it. <laughs> so you are that ever, deep, yeah. Do not ever be tempted into psychedelics. So lad. like, if you go like distractions and every and there's a complete different meaning to it, a complete deeper meaning to distractions and diversion. But like you can never ever defeat the whole comparison of just two humans having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. you cannot you match that. No. You cannot match this connectivity now of all of us in a room being humans together, yeah, yeah, yeah. being natural. You can't. No, 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 no amount of technology or social media will ever fully replicate but it. You might get close. All these distractions, social media being pushed, everything, electrics, this, this, this. I'm on it myself. Mm. 
it's just all the distraction to make you not look in. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think, like I, like I, I've done it myself before when, like you know, people have messaged the part, like like the podcast Instagram page about like 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 companies like messages about like maybe wanting to jump on board as a sponsor. You're like, for don't a bit. talk here, let the listening. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, I, like, I, like I've said, like like they, like how like like email us and I'm like, well, can't be set a meeting up. Like, because if, if if I'm going to be going and sitting with somebody and they're going to be talking about, like, money exchanging hands or just, just just anything, if they, if like, because they obviously want to want, they, they've obviously got an insight into us, that's why they messaged us in the first yeah. place, but I, I want to get that insight back. I want to want to read body languages, facial yeah. expressions, like, like, read like, the room. We, we, we done it when, when, read the person, we done yeah. it when we had the technical sponsorship, like, they, they, they were like, oh, can't you send us an email? And, and, and then it was like, well, why don't we just set a meeting up? Like, yeah. like we, we'll come to you. That's the way we'll the world's going now, but, isn't it? but at the same time, this is what bites me in the arse in work, is I am very much old school. I love face-to-face. I love a phone call rather than writing an email. I want to hear someone's voice. I want to agree something. But then I wouldn't get it down in writing. And then when fucking shit goes sour, they go, never agreed to that, lad. They go, never no, we did, you know. No, I never yeah, agreed to yeah, that. That's, yeah. So it's hard. So no what I've got to do now is I'll have a face-to-face meeting and I'll generate meeting minutes and capture everything. Yeah. Or I'll have a phone call and then I'll write an email going, as per our phone conversation, then this has been agreed because it'll bite you in the arse. Well, I yeah. just went through something similar. So I've noticed one of my weaknesses as I get to so many emails and I run out of knowledge when yeah. I'm speaking to brands. So when I'm discussing something, I run out of knowledge. So instead of focusing on that weakness and turning into a strength, I've just brought someone in who's expert in, in that, that in that area yeah. to cover that weakness. That makes yes. sense. And that's just team building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. You said about you're that, that as well. You're not, yeah. you're not spinning more plates for yourself than yeah. I am. Yeah. It's the best thing. You're not going to know everything. But that's the thing. No. Yeah, you're, you're not, yeah, you're yeah, not exactly. going to know everything. You're not going to know everything. You want to stick to what you're good at. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You need subject matter experts who can come in and just take that off your hands. It's the same with us, lad. We're still learning now, but we're still bringing people on board who's going to, who's helping us with stuff. Jack, well, Jack, yeah. So Jack's obviously our producer and editor now, but he's also got fucking like business degrees and everything, so he's going to start. Being the voice You're of You're going to throw us loads of ideas, aren't you, lad? A little bit of pressure, lad. Yeah. <laughs> Say no, then. I, I, will <laughs> I think you're forgetting I'm in charge of your wages. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a lot of things, lad. He it's loves like, that show, you know. Yeah. Loves it. We'll speak to people That's who are like... That's that. I yeah, hope yeah. you really... I hope you leave today, lad. <laughs> Jack don't knows say how that. much I appreciate We the need them. <laughs> Jack does a job Jack. at Still Gang. <laughs> we, are, we are going to empower I'll Jack. I'll bite you now. We're going to empower Jack and Jack is going to be a fantastic... We're going to be like P. Diddy with you, lad. No, it's the... Well... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, about that, have you seen 50 Cent, lad? No, oh, man, man, lad. 50 Cent is the, the goat, lad. He's the, do you know what I love, though, right? Because people so, out. So, 50 Cent, what, one of what, one of 50 Cent's like, baby, baby mamas is... Uh, I just brought that is, out, Has turned out, out that... So, so, some woman with 50 Cent has got, like, an 11-year-old son with... It's come out in a court file that she is allegedly... W- was a sex worker for PDD for years. So 50 Cent is now, like, he- he's now filing for full custody of their son because he's like, I don't want my son being left in the hands of somebody who was a sex worker for someone who's apparently a sex trafficker. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he's now going for full custody. But he's calling it all out on Instagram. He's going, your little sex worker in his comments yeah, and it. that. But then at the end of it, Everyone. he goes, he, he, at the end of it, he hashtags his fucking, he's like, Branson hashtag Branson Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> he's he brought his own nail. Like, like, at the end of it, he posts, he's like, it's an ad. He's like, the expert, the sex worker, the PD, I want, I want me son full custody, hashtag Branson Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 the interactions, 551,000 likes. Yeah, what, what picture is it though? Is it the one where he's talking about 12 hours ago, you moved a mile away in hopes of having another baby with me, but I was busy. So you moved back and then you started receiving money from Brother Love. Now we are here, little. Hashtag Branson <laughs> Kanye. Little <laughs> And then at Branson Kanye, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just adds his own businesses. Because <laughs> he was told He's the that. Uh, so, man, yeah, like, what's, what's, what's the basis to be classed as a sex trafficker? Right, so uh, what I was reading about people. dead fit on what, the M shit. on the bus. What I read about P. Diddy was is that he used to get people round to like his. Um, he used to get people round to have like a party and that or whatever, but then they all used to. Uh, um, they all used to enlist in, in home, home, homosexual activities with each other. And he'd be one of them, like, oh. You know, if you do this with us, and I'll make sure you get Artist of the Year this year, or what? You know, if you comply with us, and you'll be Bro, all fucking I'll be honest, today. I don't, I don't blind myself to it, but I'm just like, there's so much wrong with the world. If you go too deep into it, you can get suffocated. Yeah, yeah, no, I know and that. You can anyway. get proper yeah, life. yeah, yeah. And that's why I try and stay in my own lane so much. I know there's so much wrong over that side. Yeah. But it's like... It's, fu- it's oh, fucked, it's isn't it? Fucked, it's fucked. And it's up. like, please be aware of it, but stay away from, from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think as well, lads... Do you know what I I we were speaking about this as well actually coming back from that gig last night 
because we had like we had like two and a half hour drive there, two and a half hour drive back, and we were speaking about it. And it's like the amount of shit that we found out about celebrities and and like all these. It's all like, coming to light now, innit? But then again, I I still don't think we'll ever we'll ever know to, 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 to the, the full, the full extent, extent. No, 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 never. Yeah, it's all propaganda. Is, and well, you're fed, like, it's like when the fucking Russia Ukraine war started, right? Russia's meant to be one of the biggest, powerfulest countries on the planet, right? And they were getting done in by farmers from Ukraine. Like, how is that even happening? Because yeah. they just feed you a narrative. It's yeah. like propaganda. The, the, like, w- w- one of the maddest things, no, about all this, like, because, like, it, it like, the, and I, I'm, in, I'm in no way trying to justify sex trafficking, by the way. But, like, I'm not being, like, <laughs> where, this Yeah, line. no, I, so I'll be very careful with how I wear this, but... But all of it. Like, like... <laughs> you got to earn some sell Yeah, it. but, you know, everyone's got to think, no, but, like, <laughs> like, so, to be classified as a sex trafficker, so, it's like, say we were all in here now, and we were having a party, and there was, and there was some girls, yeah, and I said, I said to her, I said to one of them, shag him, and she was like, what do you mean? I was like, he's my mate, like, sh- Sh- is that sex him. trafficking? That's that's sex trafficking because then you're you're then trafficking sex. Yeah, that you're makes sense. like you're but, you're orchestrating. Right, it, right. It, like, th- so maybe I'm naive. Maybe I'm naive. But I used to think sex trafficking was like a lot lot deeper than oh, that. No, it like, can be. Sh- yeah, no, like shipping people over in containers it is. and like yeah, you know what I mean. So so okay, so he's a sex trafficker then because he gets celebrities to sleep with other gay fellas and used to record them, so that's why he's a sex trafficker. Apparently, oh, okay, that apparent, makes sense. Apparent, you know, I mean, it, to be honest, it, no, could, that's it, what he does, it, it could go deeper than that, but though. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is literally opinions bouncing from one to one because no one will ever know. Well, yeah, no, I've no, 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 uh, 24 hours in police custody a few Either weeks way, back, it's like. just fucking wrong. Yeah, it's fucked yeah, up. Stop, stop it. Fucking stop it. Stop it, lad. No, 24 hours in police custody, watched an episode a few weeks back, and it was about sex trafficking, and it was this fella from Romania who was... Preying on women in Romania, going, oh, I've got you the cleaning job back in the UK, getting them over. I'm like, oh, we're living in this house, bringing them to the house, then locking the door, going, no, you're a fucking escort now, and you're sleeping with fellas so for money. It and that's, as well. That is like the epitome of sex yeah, trafficking. Yeah. He's selling them a dream. That's the most extreme over, yeah, he's getting them Have the you UK. watched Sound of Freedom? No. no. What's it called? Sound of Freedom. No, no, no. no. About? It's about. It never got publicised in terms of. I've only watched it. No, in terms of, like the media, they oh, never, never promote, I'll, I'll, like promote it or anything. It's out yeah, there. Yeah, so like I think I don't know if it was Joe Rogan or Dana White, but I get them both mixed up because they're both bald. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think it was. Happy. I think it was Joe Rogan. He promoted it, and everyone got on it. Okay. And it's basically about child Is it a trafficking. Documentary or like a... It's a film. It's basically about child trafficking and how the deeps of it and how far it can go. Yeah. And it happens every day. It happens every yeah, day it without us knowing. Well, it, at 700,000. Watch it. So, Just watch it. There's, I, I remember, I, like, lad, I used to I used to get myself probably too invested in, like, conspiracy theories. Like, there was a point where, like, uh, like I was, like, it was all I'd watch, lad. But, I, they, they, like, obviously, like, I'm, not, I'm not really, like, I, I still have a little, like, I still, like, go, go on Twitter and be, like, I see, I see what's going on with, like, P. Diddy and that. But I got dead invested into, you know, that conspiracy theory, Pizzagate, which was about, like, the big elitist child sex trafficking ring, right? And there was, mm-hmm. there was, it was all, it was, it was a big thing over, like, lockdown and that. But there's a statistic from that whole thing that still stands out to me. And it's, it's like, I think it's, like, 750,000 kids a year in America go missing. It's fucking wrong, right? That makes it, me sick. Yeah, right? like, it's disgusting. And it they, me they, they go missing and it's like, and, and we, without any trace. Yeah, never got found. And it's like, like... And they don't get much air time as Maddie McCann do these are last No, time, like. yeah. No. But then again, like, even that though, like, it's, it's like, you, we'll probably never know what happened there, ever. You won't. I think there's definitely... But don't you think the world's becoming more awake and conscious to go, like, what's going on? Social media. I think it definitely is. I think it's definitely... I think people are, people, people are becoming more sort of enlightened to it. But then at the same time, like, there's, like, like agencies or, like, news outlets or anything. It's it's so easy for people who have got the 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 means to do it. It's so easy to... If, if, something's, if something's coming out about you on social media... You can then push a, a separate narrative about yourself to then distract. So then people are looking at w- what what you've been up to on the slide. Oh, what the fuck! And then next minute it's like, oh well, I've got an album coming out. So then it's like it's so, like as much as social media can make people aware of what's actually been going on. It's like it can also be used like to distract it, people from it as you well. You know, Ma- Gisley Maxwell, yeah, with totally Jeffrey cool. Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein's like fucking yeah, bird or whatever bitch. and she was the one who used to get all the kids around to Jeffrey Epstein's and all that while her trial was going on. The Amber Heard and thingy yeah johnny depp trial yeah. was going on at the exact same like time that, like, yeah. that, that, that not the other one that galene maxwell trial was probably like it would, would have been, been the biggest trial it would have been it would have been probably the most influ- influential like 
court case of all time because some of the people who were being named as complicit in like probably the biggest sex trafficking thing that's ever existed, like uh, the the celebrities, the politicians, they're like re like really influential and important people. And while those people are being named in court, which the public should be aware of. Two A-list celebrities have all of a sudden got this mad court case, which then everybody's looking at that, and none of the other stuff's then televised. Do you ever get nervous talking about stuff like this? No, not really, because I don't think I'm influential enough to cause any proper problems for, for somebody. No, but I get what you're saying, because if it was to get to a point where any of us, or the podcast was to blow up to an even bigger fucking level, and then there's stuff there in, in, in demons in your closet, effectively, stuff we spoke about can come back to I don't think there's the one ass. thing that's a demon here. Like, I think we've just all shared an opinion on a subject of matter, which yeah, is yeah, very, yeah. like... But it's all out of context. Very public at the moment. It's how, it's very, very why would we be scared, though, about what we're saying? Um, what because are you? the people you're speaking about... Are influential and powerful. Uh, I don't think okay. they're onto us, though. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I don't think Pete said he watches this. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't Actually, mean that. Imagine. He's in his little cell with fucking what's happening. Fuck <laughs> I, I don't mean that, but you just get nervous yeah. publicly speaking about something. So like, yeah, there's trigger words on YouTube. If you say certain words, YouTube just ban you. Just take it down. Yeah, yeah. Like like what? Yeah. Do anything. Just, just oh, don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like what? And then you yeah. just name all the words. C O V I D. If you just say that, that was a big you one. Get a block. Crazy. Um, full band. Yeah, there's there's, there's, there's loads of yeah, yeah, there's a criteria now. Yeah, there's loads of But look, I'm a bit conscious on the time by yeah. the way, because th these are gonna come in and do yeah, the thing. Yeah, should we uh, should we come to we a should. What are we on, Jack? Yes, yeah, so, so Mr. Ryan, for the people who don't know, but probably people are gonna know you more than they know us. But if you is. if you got any updates or like things that you're doing, like where are people gonna go and look to see what you're doing? My social media platform still Ryan or slash still Ryan one. Bastards won't let me change my name to still Ryan. <laughs> so people have got the name still Ryan. And I'm willing to pay you if you are watching this for the name. Is this on Instagram? Me one. I need to Change it to was Ryan. I need to get <laughs> what, the one gone, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's, it's still Ryan but, one hey, for the Matt, time being. Yeah. I've, I've enjoyed this and I think you should come back on. Hundred percent. Yeah. There's on. so much more yet. And I knew you were an interesting character anyway. But this has been completely different. Yeah. What this expecting. is the reason why I came on the podcast because it's completely different. Yeah. And it also shows a side to people. People haven't seen me much. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at social media and you probably just think he's a nice guy, love it. But I've got so much like knowledge just crammed in my brain that I just love to get out. So yeah. this is I still Ryan this. part one. Yeah, part one, yeah. 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 I appreciate yeah. you well, No, but yeah, man, good good to get back you back on for Honestly, thank home. you everybody at home for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. All of our social medias and Ryan's social medias are down below in the description if you want Boom. to have a little gander. Go over and have a little look at the page. Do subscribe to the YouTube if you haven't done that already. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week. Ta-da. Motherfucker! Buy a show. Yeah. Oh, oh get yes. the island. So oh, yeah. I have me solo show, debut solo show, 30th of May. Put Hot the poster on the screen. Pa -pa. Pa -pa. Don't put it um, on my face. Put it in the middle. <laughs> put, it the middle. <laughs> put it in the middle. Put it over eight, the mushroom. Eight quid a ticket. It's not that expensive. Uh, it's going to be fun. Be the best eight quid you've ever spent. Be the best eight quid you've ever spent. But 80 pounds. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.